before starting with the main part of our look, I'm going to prime my lids, add transition colors to make everything easier to blend, and then as you will see later, I will be adding a piece of tape for precision. Now I'm going in with the Vizard Dark Matte Palette and using this maroon color using a MAC 239 brush. I'm going to start putting that on the outer portion of the lid and kind of start mapping out the shape of the wing that we're getting. And we're also going to map out kind of the crease part as well and then obviously pat the outer third of our lid. I'm trying my best to kind of match the other side of my eye. Next, we're going in with an Inglot Freedom System eyeshadow in 433 using a MAC 239 brush. And we're going to start patting that on the middle third of the lid. And we're going to keep packing that until it's nice and opaque. And once we get to the crease portion, kind of map that out with the edge of the MAC 239 brush. I'm going in with Femme Fatale Cosmetics Choose Wisely eyeshadow with a small eyeshadow Sonia Kashuk brush and just putting that on the inner third of the lid and mapping out the crease with the edge of the brush. Now I'm going in with LA Splash Cosmetics eyeshadow base as well as taking Makeup Geek Utopia pigment and first I'm going to dab the eyeshadow base on my lid and distribute the product with my ring finger. Once that's all distributed I'm going to take a brush and start patting the Utopia pigment pigment on top of it. Uh, just make sure that this is nice and evenly distributed. And then after we do pat this on the lid, we're going to go back with our previous MAC 239 brush and take that maroon eyeshadow from the Vizart Dark Matte Palette and just start blending the edges to make sure everything's nice and perfect. Now I'm going in with Furinate Pixie Epoxy and I'm just going to pat that on the inner third of the lid. And then after that, I'm going to pat Choose Wisely on top of that epoxy also going to be blending the edges of that with our previous brush and Utopia pigment to make sure everything is nice and blended. I'm going to go back in with the dark matte Vizart palettes mixing the purpley maroon as well as the warm purple colors with a pencil brush. I'm going to be buffing this on the edge of our wing. This will add depth to the look and will make the look look more complex. I'm going in with Shiro Cosmetics for Rose Wind with a Hakuhodo J5523 brush. We're going to start buffing this near our eyebrow. This is going to be our, I guess, colored eyebrow part. And this is going to kind of start off the look and make the green look more cool. Now I'm going in with Inglot 384 eyeshadow using a Hakuhodo J146 brush and I'm going to be more precisely blending this near the eyebrow. If it ever gets too intense or harsh, we could just go back in with a Hakuhodo J5523 to blend things out. Now I'm using the Dark Force Cream from the Dark Matte Vizart palette using a Chikahodo Z10 brush and I'm going to be very precisely blending this at the eyebrow basically on the hair of the eyebrow. And then going back in with blending brushes that blend things out. Keep adding color and blending it out until you're satisfied with how your eyebrow looks. This is kind of how the top portion of the look looks like now. You can fix things up later, but this is what I'm good with. Now I'm going back in with the maroon color from the Dark Matte Vizart palette with a Coyuto C011 brush and I'm going to start blending that in the lower lash line and connect it to the top portion of our eye look. This is going to take a little bit of time to blend so don't get frustrated, keep going and it'll look good. I'm going to go back in with Choose Wisely in the Sonia Kashuk eyeshadow and I'm going to be putting that on the inner corner of our eye. I'm going to go back in with the LA Splash eyeshadow base and kind of dab that in the inner third of our lower lash line and blend it out with a ring finger and then dab Utopia pigment on top of it. This is an optional step but I feel like it ties the look together and then blend out the edges of the Utopia pigment with the maroon eyeshadow as well as choose wisely. Now apply mascara and add false lashes. The false lashes I use are Coco Lashes Bella, something that kind of help balance out the look. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. And if you recreate this look, make sure to tag me on social media. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Love me you know if I do the turtle chin too. Okay. Turtle. <laughs> you did it right away. <laughs> you want me to spin you up? From yeah, if you want to spin me, since I'm in right, focus. Is okay, all right. Okay, here, wait, let me do this. Okay, this is really, nope, that's dangerous. Okay, nope. No, it's gonna. Well, it okay, be... let's do the other way now. Oh, oh are you getting dizzy? Yeah.
Yeah, a little bit. Okay, maintain it though. Maintain it. You're a model. Models do really hard things. Under. Okay. Can you give her that smirk? <laughs> okay, give me a sec. I think I should be good with him. You're gonna vomit? Yeah, I think I'm done for the night.